Thanks, Greetings, everybody. From the Dank Basement, this is your wicked Uncle Squinty, and I'm back after a long absence. It's good to be back. Uh, it's been a tough several months here. Not only am I having access problems, you know, my blindness versus YouTube and Google, and it's been a, it's been a real hassle, but I was also hospitalized for a while. Uh, I went into the hospital. It was an emergency. Uh, diabetes. And now I'm okay, uh, feeling better. And so I'm back doing nasal snuff reviews for all y'all. Thanks for your patience, and thank you to all my new subscribers. I've reviewed this one before, uh, and I had to come back to it because I've discovered since my initial review, which wasn't terribly favorable, that I kind of like this. As a matter of fact, I could see this being an all-day, everyday nicotine replacer snuff. This is the FUBAR from Dalakia, FUBAR Snafu Plain Nasal Snuff. And what I expect from this is the typical Dalakia base tobacco kind of farmyardy, um, rustic smelling. Uh, I, for, I think it's Glenn that says it's musty, fusty. That's kind of what I expect from this. And in fact, that was my experience the last time I tried it. Didn't care for it much. Now, I will give you guys a warning. This is very finely ground snuff. And if you're not careful, you're going to suck it right down into your lungs. So I'm going to have to do the two-hand. Uh oh, I'm going to have to do the two-handed method here, and sort of kink up my nostril a little bit in order to keep from sucking this down into my lungs. First of all, I'm going to take a nice big deep breath and hold it. Then I'm going to compress the side of my nostril like this, so it doesn't go too far back. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that's better. I didn't get it down into my lungs. Apple seed size pinch. Well, first of all, whoa, as I just said, this is loaded with nicotine. If you are looking for a nicotine replacement snuff, that means you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes or stop chewing or cut down on the number of Cuban cigars you smoke every day, uh, this is a good nicotine replacer. It's very, very strong nicotine compared to many other snuffs I've tried. Uh, again, it is too finely ground for most beginning snuffers. You're going to kill yourself on this. I've seen YouTube videos of uh, U.S. soldiers snorting this stuff in lines through a tube, and I can't, <laughs> I can't even think about doing that. Uh, what about the scent? Well, the scent is not the typical Dalakia scent. It's much more nutty scented. It smells like freshly roasted nuts, like you opened a can of mixed nuts. Maybe not quite that strong, along with a very good medium cured tobacco scent. I like this, and I can see this being a good nicotine replacement snuff all day, every day. Probably not, but uh, not for me anyway. You might find it to be uh, perfect for that. On the squinty scale, where one is, I'm going to die, and five is, oh. this is a four at the very best. And the, the only reason I'm not rating it a pure five, because I actually like this, is this is a tough sniff. Uh, if you're a beginner, this could very well end your life. Okay, I exaggerate, but it's, it's a tough uh, one to, to insufflate without taking it deep into your lungs. And I would be very careful using this one. But as far as good nicotine, great aroma, this is a very good, solid snuff. I got this at MrSnuff.com, but I'm certain it is available wherever Indian snuffs, including Dalakia, are sold. Uh, I think it's a very, very good snuff. It only gets a 4 out of 5, as I said, because it's tough to insufflate without choking. But otherwise, this is one you might want to try. If I were you, I would buy a smaller package than the 25-gram tin that I bought. I don't think I'll go through this before the snuff expires. But, you know, you might be different. Your tastes will vary. From the dank basement... This is Paul, your wicked Uncle Squinty. Good to be back. Thank you for watching.